You are a magnificent creature. Have you stopped to think about that today? About how even if you are sitting completely still right now, so much is going on inside you. Your heart is beating. Electricity is running through your nervous network. And trillions of cells are vibrating within you. Take a moment, sit tall and feel inside your body, under your skin. The simple act of noticing changes everything. And by understanding more about anatomy and physiology, you bring more depth in how you live in your body, how you listen to your body, because it's always speaking to you, always, even if you're not paying attention. I spent over a decade exploring the human body from multiple perspectives. I studied yoga in India and then completed the pre-medicine course load with a focus on Western science while becoming a massage therapist. I even worked in a cadaver lab. And I remember the very first time I held a human brain in my hands. The experience was neither clinical nor antiseptic to me. Instead, it was deeply spiritual. That three pound mysterious gray mass had once both computed mathematics and released a chemical cocktail to experience love. Holding that brain in my hands, I knew that the mind-body connection was the key to why we are such magnificent creatures and how we can live our best lives. The way the yogis explained the poses and meditations, they seemed mystical or magical even. But now science affirms so much of it. There's a reason that this ancient practice has stood the test of time. My book, Science of Yoga, is the book I wanted to read when I first started practicing yoga. It starts by going through all the systems of the body and how yoga affects each, going beyond the muscles and bones, with an overview summarizing the key things you need to know to practice safely and intelligently. And then it goes through the key poses, explaining them both simply and in more depth for those yoga nerds out there. It answers the common questions you may have. It busts the myths and emphasizes what you need to know about modern science and yoga research. I created the online course, Science of Yoga, to go with the book because this is the course I wanted to take when I first started practicing yoga. I was constantly asking why. Why do my joints pop in poses? Why can I do some poses really easily, but then really can't do others? Why is the teacher telling me not to let my knee go past my ankle in this pose? And why do I sleep so much better after yoga class? In this course, you will get to experience it for yourself through yoga practices where you can apply the knowledge from the book, diving deeper and taking it to a whole new level. By developing a greater sense of awareness, you will notice transformations in your life. Are you ready to feel less pain, have improved posture, and sleep better? Are you ready to be able to handle life's challenges with a greater sense of resilience? Are you ready to improve your yoga practice and improve how you feel in your body in your everyday life? So join me for both information and inspiration in an inner exploration Join me for a voyage through my book in an online course, Science of Yoga. Thank you so much and be well.